Hey YouTube, well, today it's getting up towards Christmas and uh, I'm just, one of the traditions around here is to make Welsh cakes. Um, most of the people I know say they can make Welsh cakes or say they've made Welsh cakes, usually have an excuse that they, um, they can't make them anymore because uh, they don't have a, a big store. Well, I'm going to show you how to make Welsh cakes today. So uh, let's make our way into the kitchen and see what we need. Okay. Well, here are the ingredients. Um, what you're going to need is uh, some flour right here and some sugar, some lard, good old pig fat, baking powder, four ounces of butter, an egg, some nutmeg, must have the nutmeg, some currants and raisins or sultanas if you can get them and some salt. Okay, well, let's get started. First thing we're going to need is uh, some flour. So we need a pound of this flour. This thing comes in kilograms, so I'm just going to weigh it. So I put tear on the scale and I'm going to put a pound of flour in here. There we go. 16 ounces of flour. And next thing we're going to need a teaspoon of baking powder. That looks like about a teaspoon. Put that in there. And we're going to now put the nutmeg in as well. Now with this shit you don't need to get too crazy with it, but you need just about the right amount. I find a level teaspoon of this is just about right. You can use more if you like it, but anyway, that's what I like. So we're putting that in, and we're going to mix in the butter and the lard in a sec. Okay, well actually I messed up there. Um, I had the scale turned to uh, grams and I put 160 grams of flour. But I've changed it around and now I'm back to 16 ounces so I got the pound of flour. Uh, the nutmeg and the baking powder are already mixed in. And I've cut up 4 ounces of butter and 4 ounces of lard. And I'm going to cut that in and uh, mix it into the, uh, the mixture. Okay, well I've made up the, uh, cut up the, the fat and I'm going to mix that in. I find the best way to do this is just get your fingers in there and make a mess, <laughs> basically. Grind it in. Don't spill too much flour. Maybe a bigger bowl would be an idea. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to mix this in until it's nice and smooth and then start adding the rest of the ingredients. Everything's been cut in and my hands are reasonably flour free again. So um, the recipe calls for six ounces of sugar. So uh, we're going to put that in now. So we'll set up the scale here. Okay. There it is, six ounces of sugar. Um, so there's that and now we're going to put in three ounces of sultanas and two ounces of uh, of raisins, of raisins rather, currants. So three ounces, there's our three ounces and two ounces of currants. There we are. Um, next we're going to add that in and, uh, and add our beaten egg. Well, much as I like the other bowl, 
it was definitely too small for the job so I'm just transferred to a larger bowl and if I were you I'd start with a large bowl yeah anyway you were moving them right along and just cut the whole mixture together with your fingers and then we'll add our egg I also put uh, half a teaspoon of salt in earlier too yeah pretty sticky work well even though I said uh, <laughs> They wouldn't need the milk, and I, in other years I haven't used a lot of milk. I'm going to use a bit now because the dough is too stiff. So I just put a splash in there, and we'll work it up like that. Well, there we have it. I've worked it up into a, a big ball, and just work it round until it's all one nice big lump of dough. So yeah, we've got the uh, got the dough. Ball, and now we're going to clean off the surface and roll out the dough. First thing you should do sprinkle some flour on the surface. And spread that around a bit. And start Flatten it out. Or flatten it out a bit more with our hand. Okay, and then flour up the other rolling pin and roll it out. Yeah, this is not for the gluten free amongst us. <laughs> All for the low fat people. <laughs> okay, so now we'll cut it out. Maybe get one more. Just about. Well, there we have our first uh, batch there of 13, so uh, a baker's dozen. Not by any means would anyone describe me as a baker, but still, here it is. Um, we've got a lump left over here, which we're going to really squeeze out again, flour up our rolling pin, and roll it out again. Cut out some more. Okay, let's go. Yep, another four, bring us up to fifteen. No, what am I saying? Seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a little left over. Roll it up again. Whoops. flour on that rolling pin. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. These are a little thinner. Oh well, we'll see how they work out. It looks like we're going to get one, maybe one, maybe two more. thinner than others, but no big deal. And this one's for the cook. 
Okay, we'll just squeeze that one down. All right, there it is. Now we're going to set it up and bake the buggers. Okay. Yeah, well, like most people, I don't have a big stone either. What I use is this Japanese iron, heavy iron pot. A skillet would probably be better, but this is good and heavy, and uh, this, this is what I use anyway. So that's what I'm going to use to cook them in, They're on top of the stove. I like to put it on quite low. Um, I've got it set at about three and a half on my about, yeah, I don't know how warm that is. That's five would be medium. So just below four, three and a half with the iron pot and I let it warm up for a little while. So we're going to arrange them in the pan as best we can. Try and cook about six at a time. see how that goes. Now I generally do them for about, well a rough guide I'd say three to four minutes aside, but um, best to just check them from time to time, look for that golden color. So there they are, aren't they? that's sort of the color you're looking for. They can be a bit darker than that. Um, again I like them slightly underdone, so the uh, so that when they cool down the centers remain kind of moist. Anyway, that's the first batch. I'll be uh, adding the next batch in a second. You know, it looks like about four minutes is uh, what we need per side. Um, that one's four minutes. Looks pretty great. So I'm going to take these out. Oh, there goes the beeper for four minutes. Okay, let's just reset that. Okay. And we'll get ready to put the, the new batch in. These are looking good. This is the third batch. This is, um, anyway, oh, that's my telephone. <laughs> well, here's our last three. So far, we're doing pretty good. There's our, our finished product. We'll get the other three on top pretty soon, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be done. Okay, well there they are. There's the last of the batch. Looks good. So I'll just pop them in the tray with the rest. Turn down the heat. And get out my little bit of sugar here. And here they are. Just get a little bit of sugar. Sprinkled on the top, and to finish off, we put the Welsh flag, and we're ready to go. Welsh cakes. <laughs>